Okay, guys. Let's look at the Kabbalah being taught as at Bethel. The foundation of BSSM is the Kabbalah being taught at Bethel. So we're going to start right here by reading what the... Who is this one? Oxford Dictionary has to say about the word abomination or abominations, noun. It is a noun, plural noun, abominations, a thing that causes disgust or hatred, concrete abominations masquerading as hotels. I don't know what that means. Um, similar, atrocity, disgrace, horror. I can't see that. Obscenity. Outrage, curse, torment, evil, crime, monstrosity, a feeling of hatred, their abomination of indulgence. So before we get to Bethel, we're going to look at one specific verse that says that there's that prayer can be an, um, an abomination to God. One sec. So according to Proverbs 28, 9, he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, the law of Torah, the law that God gave through Moses, God's law that he gave through Moses, even his prayer shall be an abomination. So he that turns away his ear from hearing the law of Torah the spirit of the law that we are supposed to be keeping after Yeshua, not the letter of the law that was prior to Yeshua, because the letter of the law kills, but the spirit of the law gives life. So, he that turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. Whosoever causeth the righteous to go astray is an evil way he shall fall himself into his own pit but the upright those who are really inside the faith of abraham isaac and jacob whose hearts are chasing the will of god's heart but the upright shall have good things in possession he that heareth or he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. Okay. Even his prayer shall be an abomination. This list right here in Deuteronomy 18 that starts at verse 10 specifically is calling out Bethel and their cult for their Freemasonic Luciferian habits of causing the children to pass between the fires in the fire tunnel. All of this list right here is connected to the Kabbalah and the people who were practicing the Kabbalah back at the time of Babylon, and these people are going to get you to practice these. Let's look at this list, and then we're going to use part of an old video that I'm just going to take a little snippet of stuff that I had already presented. This list is the proof. Let no one be found among you who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire. Fire tunnels. Or one who practices divination. That would be Bethel's treasure hunts and um, what else is divining? Um, the astrology stuff that's connected to the Alabaster Prayer House is divination. The... Um, Christ alignment tarot cards is divination or a medium. I guess that is kind of, oh wait, let me go back up here. Let no one be found among you who makes a son or his daughter pass through the fire or no one that practices divination or uses magic. That would be including the sigil magic that Bethel is using in all of their logos, the Buck being the sign of Nimrod, the um, Heaven Comes logo being the pyramid going up and the pyramid going down, that equals Lucifer and Satan, and the E's in Heaven 
Capcom's 2017 logo are two number threes in Roman numerals turned sideways to hide their 33rd degree um, Masonic signs. They have to do what's called hidden in plain sight. They have to show us that they're the bad guys so that our free will can go and find the bad guys and prove who they are by their actions so that we can be able to get away from the bad guys. So, let no one be found among you who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire, or no one who practices divination or uses magic, or one who interprets omens, Jen Johnson does that all the time, or a sorcerer, that would be the entire group because they're all practicing the Kabbalah, or one who conjures spells, or a medium, or a spiritist, or one who calls up the dead, you know, like Bethel's grave soaking, or conjuring spells like they're writing a prayer that they want money and more money and jobs and more jobs and the whole congregation will repeat it together and this is a type of witchcraft if you know what you're doing you can give people to do what you want you guys understand if you know how hypnotism works like this group does they can get you to do whatever they want because your brain is on their hypnotism thinking that it's a good thing which opens up the door for their hypnotism to work if you go and read the bible it will tell you this is a group of bad guys that we are specifically supposed to be pointing out according to ephesians 5 11. so or one who conjures spells, or a medium, or a spiritist, or one who calls up the dead. Oh, one who calls up the dead. Wouldn't that be baby Olive that they were saying, Olive, come out of that grave, come out of that grave, come out of that grave, Olive, come out of that grave. They're chanting a witchcraft thing. They did not walk up in the power of Yeshua and say, Stand up and live. It doesn't work by chanting magic spells. For whoever does these things is an abomination to Yah. And because of these abominations, Yah, your Elohim, drives them out from before you. Be perfect before Yah, your Elohim. For these nations who you are possessing do oh do listen to those using magic and diviners but as for you yah your elohim has not appointed such for you yah your elohim shall rise up for you a prophet like me from your midst from your brothers listen to him according to all you ask of yah your elohim in horeb in the day of the assemblings, in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of Elohim, nor let me see his great fire any more, lest I die. And Elohim said to me, When they have spoken, oh, what they have spoken is good, I shall rise up for them a prophet like you out of the midst of their brothers, and I shall put my words in his mouth. And he shall speak to them all that I command him. And it shall be the man who does not listen to my words, which he speaks in my name. I will require it of him. But the prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name, which I have not spoken, oh, which I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other mighty ones, even that prophet shall die. And when you say in your heart, how do we know the word which Yah has not spoken? When the prophet speaks in the name of Yah, and the word is not, or comes not, that is the word which Yah has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously do not be afraid of him chris valentin bill johnson
Your whole group. <laughs> it's funny. Sorry. I just changed the name of the backup channel from Exposing Bethel and more. I changed it to Wake Up Writing so that it matches the Facebook page because if... I just changed the name of the backup channel from Exposing Bethel and more. I changed it to Wake Up Writing so that it matches the Facebook page because if you look up the Exposing Bethel information, it's all under Facebook Wake Up Writing. So this is now the backup. But I set up something for you. Go over here to Playlists. And these 15 videos, I put them in order. This top one will explain to you what the Kabbalah is, where it came from. And then this one will end up showing you that in the book of Acts, when Paul is dealing with one of the churches, they are practicing Kabbalah. They realize that they're practicing Kabbalah. They take their books, they burn them, and they count up the price of what their books would cost, and it was 50,000 pieces of silver. So there's already a story about people who are practicing what Bethel's practicing in the Bible. There's already an example of what we need to do to be done with them. And so the people inside Bethel that hear this video – Watch that video, understand that you guys practicing Kabbalah is part of that. Now, here's Stephanie saying this stuff that um, was quoted, and then here is the Kabbalah explanation of where the Enneagram came from. All, all the New Age teachings are from the Kabbalah, so this Bethel... New Age and mysticism, it's all based on Kabbalah, what she's teaching. Right here is Chris Valentin teaches Adam Kadmon Kabbalah. This is where he's made God into a hermaphrodite. And so you have to go understand that's Templar, that's Baphomet worship, and God does not have a female side. The, the name uh, Shekinah comes from the bottom Sephirot in the um, tree of life that I'm going to show you um, that connects with Bethel's Alabaster Prayer House again at the end of this video. But this, the, the Shekinah is supposed to be the female Holy Spirit inside this occult. All grave soaking comes from the Kabbalah. It's Jewish mysticism. And that's explained inside this video. Divination comes from the Kabbalah. It's trying to get information from an outside source that's not already inside scripture. You can't do that. It's witchcraft. If you go to Deuteronomy 18, all the things that are listed that say, don't do this, it's an abomination. All of those things in Deuteronomy 18 are connected, is it verses 10 through 12, I believe. All of those are the, this list it all matches together. This is one of the Bethelites inviting other Bethelites to go and participate in astrology. This explains that the cult that was doing all of this other Kabbalah stuff is the one who was making the children to pass between the fires. This is Rick Warren um, doing contemplative prayer. It's connected to the Kabbalah. This is Rick Warren, John Piper, C. Peter Wagner, and Ralph Winter teaching the Kabbalah. This is Chuck Pierce teaching the Kabbalah. This is all with explanations of what they're teaching. It, it gives the example of them teaching it, and then it gives the example of where it comes from in the Kabbalah. Numerology, the angel number stuff that Sean Foyt is doing. While well, we're still in the middle of the list, let's add this part in. According to Freemasonry, according to Manly P. Hall, and according to Albert Pike, the Kabbalah is the foundation upon which all Freemason teachings are based. The doctrine of the fallen angels 
is the foundation upon which all Freemason teachings are based. The doctrine of the fallen angels is the foundation upon which all BSS teachings are based. You are learning to practice the religion of the fallen angels when you are paying to attend BSSM. I recognize this now because my pastor at YWAM and that was over our YWAM stuff, plus he had been over our church camps as a youth. His name was Lauren Cunningham, and it's his Seven Mountain Dominion Theology with Bill Bright. He, those two are the ones who brought out the Seven Mountain Mandate. We were learning the Seven Mountain Mandate as children. They were pre-programming us inside the YWAM cult to go out and try and do um, millennia, uh, post-millennial theology where we have to take over the earth and give it to Jesus already ready for him to return. And that is not scripture. That is antichrist. They have put their Templar theology, their Luciferian theology in place of the word of Yeshua HaMashiach. Personal testimony. When I was at YWAM out in Colorado, they made us go to a Catholic church and take communion. Do you know how disgusting that is? Knowing that they are a Babylonian satanic cult that came through Constantine's twisting of the faith of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, adding the Hebraic names to his Babylonian cult in Greece and Rome. And now people believe that this Templar stuff is the faith once preached, and it is the opposite of the faith once preached. These people are showing you that they are Freemasons by their habits. Is connected to the Kabbalah. The Kabbalah. This is Chuck Pierce teaching the Kabbalah. This is all with explanations of what they're teaching. It, it gives the example of them teaching it, and then it gives the example of where it comes from in the Kabbalah. Numerology. The angel number stuff that Sean Foyt is doing is connected to the Kabbalah. Shekinah is the bottom Sephiroth. It is Lucifer. That's a whole nother one that explains that it's Lucifer. Freemasonry is based on Kabbalah. The, the Manly P. Hall and Albert Pike both said... I didn't know I had added that part into this video, so you guys get to hear it twice. The Kabbalah is the foundation upon which... All Freemason teachings are based, and this whole NAR group is teaching Kabbalah. Okay, remember the octagon. Remember the octagon and... All right, if you guys want to see the rest of that video, Bethel, the pyramid in the octagon, that's how you guys figure it out. I've done... 15,000 hours of research into Bethel since 2007 when I found out that their teachings were bad. Prior to that, Bill Johnson gave my best friend a car that he died in less than two weeks after he was gifted the car. Now, I'm the witness that the car was designed to wreck. I saw the gas pedal had been tampered with. The boy in the back seat that survived the car wreck, he said that the brakes didn't work. I didn't argue with him. He was in the car, but he's passed away now. And what I personally saw was that the backside of the gas pedal had been shaved with a Dremel tool and it had a hook around the backside of the gas pedal that made the gas pedal stick to the carpet. And my friend drove off a train car bridge on Otter Creek Road in Millville, California, New Year's Eve, 1993. And it took my friend and his brother's life, and it was in a car that had just come from Bill Johnson and his Masonic cult in Weaverville, who already had a bad reputation for doing murders, including getting the sheriff's department involved in a murder of the, the head of the California state militia. 
because he was calling them out for stuff they were doing in Weaverville. Or like my friend Mike, who went and designed the um, emergency broadcast system for Trinity County, and then they end up pushing him out of his own project. You know, because these people really care about us. These Bethelites who are doing all this satanic stuff and stealing our town in the name of their god, Lucifer. <laughs>